Will cicadas eat my vegetable garden? If you live in the Northeast US like me, chances are you might live in one of the 15 states where the 17 year cicadas are returning this year, Brood X. As I'm filming this video out here in Maryland, there are reports that the cicadas have started to emerge, but I personally haven't seen them yet, and I definitely don't hear them yet. But who knows, that could change quickly. Anyway, you might be wondering, will the cicadas threaten my vegetable garden? So I decided to do a little digging, metaphorically, and here's what I came up with. Although cicadas are loud and many people don't like them, they are actually not locusts and most likely they will leave your vegetable garden alone. Depending on what you have growing, that is. Cicadas feed mostly on tree sap. When underground, they feed on the roots of trees, and after emerging, adults mate and cut small slits into trees and branches where they deposit their eggs. This usually does not bother larger trees, but small, young trees can really suffer from this. When you have thousands of cicadas cutting slits into small branches, it can overwhelm a small tree. If too many branches are damaged, the whole tree could even die or not produce any fruit that year. The same thing could happen to your blueberry bush, which probably also has a lot of vulnerable branches. So if you're growing small fruit trees, you should probably wrap them up to protect them and prevent the cicadas from laying their eggs in their branches. But if you're growing things like tomatoes, radishes, herbs, you know, typical vegetable garden plants, you can rest assured that these plants will be left alone by the cicadas. So, speaking of cicadas, do you live in one of the 15 states where Brood X is emerging this spring? And if so, are you excited about the invasion or terrified? Personally, I find insects pretty fascinating and I have very vivid memories of the last time these cicadas visited 17 years ago. So I'm looking forward to watching them emerge once again. I'll probably be documenting everything with my camera. If you find cicadas fascinating, like me, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll have a lot more videos about, you know, my gardening adventures coming soon because I'm actually moving to an actual house with an actual real garden. So I'm upgrading from my balcony garden and uh, I'll have a lot more content there. I will see you in the next video.